All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Google Ads targeting versus Google Ads observation, uh, specifically in search and display campaigns. So when it comes to video campaigns, only targeting, targeting is your only option. You don't have observation options for video campaigns. So I'm just gonna break down the difference between targeting and observation in search and display campaigns and how you can use them and really so you can understand it when you're creating your own campaigns and looking at data. Uh, these used to be in Google AdWords, they were referred to as target and bid versus bid only. So the targeting setting is that what target and bid was, the observation setting is what bid only was. So coming into our uh, you know, Google Ads account here, I have a search campaign open, a display campaign open, and I'm gonna teach you um, exactly how I use targeting and observation and even what Google Ads recommends. So coming into our display campaign first, what we have here is just one ad group. We're gonna make it very simple. Our ad group, what we wanna do is target audiences in our ad group, and we wanna look at how those audiences perform for different topics and different placements. We're also gonna be using demographics targeting as well. So clicking on our ad group, it's gonna open our ads first. So what we wanna do is come to keywords. Uh, we don't have any keywords here. Uh, we're not gonna be using keywords for this video, but uh, just to kind of show you, so scrolling down to the bottom, I like this little, I like how they have this here. So for display network campaigns, the recommended usage is targeting. So you can use targeting for audiences, placements, and topics. Uh, you could also use observation for these three as well. Demographics and display keywords, you can only use targeting. So you're not able to observe how different demographics perform or how different display keywords perform. So coming back to our campaign here, we're, we have no keywords for this. We're gonna look at audiences. So these audiences are all the audiences that we're targeting. We have seven different ones here. Five are intent audiences, five are in market. Um, and we wanna serve our ads to anybody who is in those audiences, you know, and Google has created all these really for us. Um, so demographics. So people also have to be within our demographics, um, also like within the 18 to 65 plus, and they have to be in our audiences. Um, so if they're in this unknown, they're not going to be, you know, they're going to be excluded from our audiences. So really our targeting setting right now is audiences and demographics. So it's going to combine those two and that's how we're going to create, you know, who we're targeting with our advertisements. What we want to do is observe how it's performing when people visit websites related to advertising and marketing. So right now I have this topics and you can see here, the topics in this ad group are set to observation. So I'm just gonna observe how my audiences and demographics perform when people visit these types of websites. Coming down to placements, it's gonna be the same exact setting. So I'm just gonna observe exactly how these placements are performing for my specific audiences and demographics targeting. And what you can see here is when you start to observe things, you're going to start to get data uh, specifically. So it's going to say, okay, this person is in your targeted audience. They're in your targeted demographics and they clicked your ad when they were on search engine journal.com or any of these other placements. So um, what you're going to start seeing is some data coming in here, clicks, impressions, and you're going to be able to observe how things are performing without ever changing any of your targeting settings. So you can actually just, uh, you know, let all this data come in and see which placements are performing best for you. And if you see something, you know, search engine journal, for example, let's say they're sending you, you know, a ton of conversions, way more optimal than your campaign is setting. Let's say specifically 25% more optimal than your campaign is setting in terms of cost per conversion. You can come over to your bid adjustment and increase the bid adjustment by 25%. So when your audiences and demographics match and someone visits search engine journal, it'll take your bid so if you have a $10 bid, it'll become $12.50 because it's, you have data that says, uh, you know, people on this website perform better when they click my ads compared to other websites, compared to other topics. Um, and the same goes for topics as well. So if you see, okay, you know, our ads are performing about twice as well when we're targeting this topic, you might just want to add it to your targeting altogether, or you can just observe it and increase bids when someone does, you know, someone does fall within this topic as well. So if we come to audiences here, just to kind of show you how to set up your targeting, you can either edit audiences. I like to do edit ad group targeting, and it's gonna bring up a page with the different options for targeting and observations. Okay, so you can see here now, so in our targeting section, you can see we have the seven targeted audiences. We have our demographics here. So just pretty much 18 and up. Um, anyone in the unknown age is not gonna be targeted, any gender, any parental status. So pretty wide open. And it's saying our targeting's reach is 150 million total people. And it's saying what's defining your reach and it has all of these things here. So since we have observations here with topics and placements, this doesn't narrow our reach at all. So it keeps it exactly the same. 
But if we take this topics away from here, so we'll just remove this all together. So now we're just going to be observing placements. And if we want to add that topic into our targeting, so instead of just observing, we want to actually target that topic as well. We want to click on the topic. We're going to search marketing, add the same exact one that comes up. We're in our targeted topics here. We search marketing. We select the same one that we had before. That was an observation. We're going to click done. And what you see is it was 150 million impressions before. Now we're down to 9.3 million impressions. So you can see audiences here, demographics here, topics here. So people have to fall within these three targeting settings for our ads to appear to them. And there's only a total of 9.3 million available impressions for that. The placements is not going to narrow anything at all. So we're just observing how things are performing with those placements so we can decide whether we want to bid higher or lower for them. You know, you can continue to add different observations if you want. It's really a best practice to, you know, to observe and see where things are performing well because it might be worth it to bid higher or bid lower on certain placements or topics or even audiences here. You can actually observe audience as well, but you can't be targeting audiences. So one thing you can do is if you just want to see this topic with the demographics, come into your audiences, remove them from the targeting, put them into your additional observation here and just decide whether or not they're performing well for you. So it's a great way to look at different types of targeting, how things are performing. You can observe how things are performing and decide whether or not to bid higher or bid lower when people do fall within those observations. So hopefully that all makes sense. Um, coming over to our search campaign here, with our search campaigns, obviously we're targeting keywords here. So what we wanna do is say, okay, when someone types in any of our keywords, we wanna see how they perform when they're in one of our audiences. So you can use a variety of different audiences here. You can really use any of the different targeting options they give you. So you can use demographics, in-market, remarketing, and similar audiences. And it's the same exact thing, except you know, with, with observation on the search network, it's, it's really the best practice to use, and they have recommended here, because what you wanna do is you add these audiences as observation, and if you can see that they're performing better, then you know, not having them, then you can bid higher on them. If you see that they're performing worse, you can bid lower on them. So if I'm targeting all these different keywords about how to promote your business, business marketing ideas, I can say, okay, I wanna see how those keywords perform with people who have viewed my YouTube videos before. So that's all I'm saying here, and I can decide, you know, I can save, and then I can decide, okay, this is performing great, let me increase it by 50%, because I wanna bid higher to people who have viewed my YouTube videos because they've shown some level of interest in Surfside PPC and also that they're trying to find different ways to really promote their business with online marketing. So clicking save. So now if we were to set this up instead as targeting, it's only gonna target when people are in that audience and searching our keywords. So it's really gonna narrow it down. So even if this audience size is 50,000 people, I'm only gonna target you know the keywords when people are in that audience. So that really narrows it down so coming over back to this page here, so it's saying targeting and observation availability. So display network, they recommend using targeting. You can use observation for audiences, placements, and topics as well, like I showed you. So that's something you can also do and just bid higher and lower for it, but they do recommend just using targeting only and really narrowing down your targeting and creating a great audience that's gonna perform well for you. Search network, so it's also you know referred to as remarketing lists for search ads. Um, so they recommend observation because targeting is going to narrow it down so much that you're you're really going to limit your overall campaign um, unless you have a huge audience that you're narrowing it down to. But it, you're, re you're better off just using observation, seeing how things perform, and then using bid adjustments like I showed you um, and really optimizing your campaign that way. So video campaigns is targeting only. Um, shopping campaigns is the same as search network. So if you have any questions about targeting and observation between display, search, uh, hopefully this cleared them up for you. Again, targeting is the same as target and bid. Observation is the same as bid only. So if you're familiar with those, it's the same exact thing. They just updated the terms for it in Google Ads rather than how it was in Google AdWords. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to our channel.